Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I am back to work on our easy DIY traveler's notebooks that make great gifts. One of these is actually going in Happy Mail. So I'm going to go ahead and make folders for each of these, and I'm not going to use a template or a cut file. I'm going to make them completely by hand. So I'm going to walk through how you do this okay so i'm going to make two of course and here's the thing the notebooks or the inside of these measure three and a half by five so automatically so with three and a half by five so we know our height is five so we need half of our height plus our height so if the height is five half of five is two and a half so our height is going to be seven and a half this is i'm determining what size i need to cut my paper so i'm going to cut it seven and a half high then the width is three and a half so three and a half and three and a half is seven but i want it to be a little bit wider so that it can go around the notebooks or if i want it to go around everything um you have to decide how much wider you want it to be so we don't have a lot of room to play with as far as the edge, meeting the edge of our cover. So I'm going to say I want, I'm trying to keep it simple. So if we're at seven, if I add a quarter of an inch on either side, is that going to be too big? Okay, so I'm going to err. This is probably the wrong decision, but I'm going to go ahead and add a half an inch. So we're at seven, then we're going to add a half an inch, so that's seven and a half. Then we need to add a half an inch for our tab foldovers on either side, so that's another inch. So seven plus one half plus one. So we're at eight and a half inches. I hope this is not going to be too wide. Okay, so, and you can adjust that number if you want. Just remember that you need double the width of your insert plus an inch at minimum. And you can add additional inches to cover wrapping around multiple notebooks if you choose. Hopefully, my folders won't hang out too much because they are going to be a quarter of an inch wider on either side so i think the cover can accommodate that so let's get started trimming up our paper and i'm going to try and trim both of these at the same time sorry about little math class but i know that that is helpful in determining you can use that method to determine the size for any traveler's notebook folder so so we need eight and a half wide this way you know what because of this paper i'm going to cut the seven and a half first because i don't want to waste any of these strips and yeah I'm gonna cut this one off because we've used that or do I want to cut this off because I don't really like those Christmas trees <laughs> uh, those bottle brush trees I'm not really into that uh, but then oh wait we're gonna have to use a different piece of paper because once we make our folder it's going to fold up and then what's on this side will be upside down. So we need a piece of paper that has no direction. So let me see what I can find. Then that way I can actually decorate the outside of the folder. So, okay. So let's go with this. And now it doesn't matter which way I cut it because it's, it's just a pattern. So 
seven and a half inches in height and then eight and a half inches wide. I'm gonna use my scoreboard for this. If you don't have a scoreboard, I do have a video um, that I put out recently that shows how to score without a scoreboard. And I think I'm gonna need my big scoreboard because my paper is, paper is longer than that one. Okay. So I'm gonna put this with the seven and a half inch side up top. This is gonna be my pocket. It's gonna make the pocket. And let's use this. And I'm gonna score at two and a half inches. Because remember, the top part needs to be five. We added two and a half inches to the five. So that, oops, that is where we are. So let's do this one as well. Let's make this in the pocket. So again, score at two and a half for this particular size. And then we're gonna turn it around and score in the middle. So eight and a half, we're gonna score at four and a quarter. That's the center of eight and a half. Same here. Eight and a half is four and a quarter. Then we're gonna score at one half inch on either side. One half inch on either side. Same on this one. This is with the eight and a half inch side at the top. And my desk is not level. Sorry. Okay. So one half inch, oops. And one half inch. So I think that is all the scoring that we are going to need to do. So just to recap, I scored on the seven and a half inch side. Let's see if you can see it better here. I folded a little bit. I scored at two and a half. Then I flipped it around to the eight and a half inch side. I scored in the center at four and a quarter. Then I scored a half inch on the left and a half inch on the right. Okay. So, now we're gonna do our folding. Fold the flap up from the bottom, fold it in half, and fold over our side flaps, okay? Same here. Fold up the bottom, fold the center, fold the side flaps. Okay. Now you can eyeball this or measure it however you want to do it, but we need to cut in the center a triangle. Now what you can do is to make it easy is fold this in half and determine how big of a triangle you want. The reason you do this is because when you fold this up and you want to fold this over, it's going to be kind of bulky in there. So we cut out a small triangle to eliminate that. So I'm just going to measure a half an inch using my mat. So that's here. Let's do this one. So I'm going to fold this in half, line it up with one of the lines on my mat and use this dot, which is a half inch to mark on my pocket. Then I'm just going to take my scissors and connect this dot to where these folds meet in the center. So the bottom flat fold and the center fold, they meet right here. So I'm gonna connect that dot to that fold and trim it like that. So this is what you have, you got your triangle. Same thing on this one connect this dot to where the 
score lines intersect. That's the word I'm looking for. In the center. Okay. And that way you have some consistency and it's the same. Voila. So then, let's see, I'm going to fold these up. Check, see what we're working with. Now, on this bottom pocket, we don't need this half inch flap right here. We don't need that. And we also want to miter. So I'm just gonna cut at an angle here and cut this off. You can measure your miter if you want to. I used to go through all of that, but I don't do it anymore. And when we cut, we're gonna cut on the this side, on the left side of the score line. So we're not cutting on the score, we're not cutting on the right, we're cutting on the left of the score line. So you just cut that. And then I'm just gonna angle out like that. So that's the shape you're gonna get. Same thing over here, I have to flip it over though because, 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 because. And I'm just gonna cut on the left side of the score line based on the way I'm holding the paper and then cut a miter out. Okay, so now we have this shape. And that's the beginnings of our folder. Now let's check for size before we go any further. <laughs> um, let's see if, now I'm designing this so that it can fit around multiple inserts, but if I want it to fit on just an elastic by itself, will it stick out? Let's see. No, it will not. Great, okay. So we can proceed. Halfway through the video and I, then I decided to put the mic on. Uh, <laughs> okay, so normally what I would do at this point is make a cut in this flap that lines up with the pocket. I don't know that I'm going to do that for this. The reason why I do that is so that you can have the use of the full width of the pocket if you don't do that cut and you just glue all of this down, you this is as far as you can go with this pocket. So that's as far as it can go. But if you put a cut into it, then it'll you have this much room. I know that's like a minor issue, um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I think we're gonna forgo the cut and just keep it simple. So I've also noticed that we do not have a pattern on the inside because we have single sided paper. So if you want to spice things up a bit on the inside of your paper, of your pocket, you can actually add another pocket up at the top by adding another piece of paper on the inside. So let's do that. I think I'm gonna use this fur paper because let's see what it looks like. I think I pulled a piece out, no I didn't. Okay, is that weird? So this would need to be seven and a half by five. Let's see. Talking five, so I'm gonna need two. And then seven and a half. Okie doke. Then we're just gonna fold these in half with the pattern, the decorative side on the inside using a score tool. Okay. Now, this would go in here like so. 
and it is a little too tall because of the height of because once it's folded it yeah okay so we're gonna just, let's see if this one is the same Yes, so I need to trim off about an eighth of an inch to allow for where this paper folds up. So let's do that. So let's go to four and seven eighths. Approximately. Trim that excess off. I think I like this way better. So I think that works better. Yes. And I may need to trim a little off of the sides as well because again, you have to allow for the paper to fold over. So let me do that real quick too. And I'm gonna actually fold them to trim it off. And I'm just gonna trim off a slither slither okay and see what we got okay that's better so let me go ahead and trim off these side flaps on this one. Remember inside of the score and miter or left side of the score. Up to the fold line and then Miter. Okay. So that's the shape. Then we can place this in here, line it up. And you can actually punch a pull in there. So let's do that. Let me find the center. So that's the center. That's the center. So you can just take your circle punch and I'm gonna punch a pull. If I can find where I just made the mark. Okay, there it is. So I'm just gonna use half of the circle or not even half, just a bit of the circle to punch a thumb pull. that and line this one up okay back at this <laughs> okay i know i'm all over the place but okay so now we have a nice thumb pull we have an additional pocket and make sure everything folds nicely lines up nicely and so this is what the outside would look like and all we need to do now is glue this down so i'm going to use a wet glue which is this barely art glue art glitter glue would work great too or whatever adhesive you have you could also use why is this puckering you could also use um double-sided tape <laughs> Let's 
press that down really well. Do the other side. And there you have it. So I'm just gonna take my bone folder and press everything down. So now you got a pocket here. So you got a pocket here. You got a pocket, once you put it in your notebook, you'll have a pocket on this side and on this side. Okay. And that's that. Let's go ahead and put this one together. So I'm gonna line up my inside pocket, fold up my flaps, fold over my side tabs, make sure everything is lined up how I want it. And go ahead and add my glue to the flap. You could actually even round the corner of this flap here. Ooh. No, stop, wait. So there's that with the weird fur on the inside. <laughs> All right, so this is where we're at. I am going to use this folder. And I'm gonna put it in the center for now, for this one. And then this folder. For this one now one thing I did forget you can also use your hole punch to punch a little notch in the top and the bottom to take some of the stress off of the paper uh, because of the bands so I'm just gonna do a teeny little notch in these Maybe I should use a smaller hole punch. Let's try it. Yeah, so this is like an eighth of an inch hole punch. Since this is so small, I'm just using a small one. Um, and just like a little half circle there. So now let's pop this in here. That way your band sits right down in there just like that, it takes some of the stress off of the paper, the cardstock. Okay. And voila. So that's very close to the edge, but it is not hanging out. Awesome. So that is the fold, how to make a folder for your easy traveler's notebook. And let's look at this one too. So that is it. That's how you can make a folder for any size traveler's notebook, really. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at ScrapCraftastic. Visit my website and shop at ScrapCraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.
拜。